According to a recent study of the genetic legacy in New Guineans, the mysterious Denisovan humans were far from being a single population, and instead were so diverse that their populations were as unrelated to one another as they were to Neanderthals. The Denisovans, our enigmatic distant cousins, may have interbred with early modern humans as recently as 15,000 years ago. In fact, it was only a few years ago that researchers first realized there were multiple Denisovan lineages. Remarkably, two Denisovan lineages have been discovered in Southeast Asia, adding to previously published findings. Geneticists have proposed that Denisovan DNA originated from a different source in New Guineans, than it did in people in East Asia, indicating at least two mixing occasions. This discovery used modern DNA to show that these hominins and Homo sapiens likely interbred in two waves, leaving different genetic legacies that are still present in modern residents of Oceania and East Asia. Nonetheless, the current theory is that modern humans emerged when Homo sapiens across Africa and Arabia engaged in biological interactions, during the last full interglacial, between 100,000 to 150,000 years ago. During this time, sea levels rose and the weather warmed dramatically resulting in humans migrating to new areas. Then one group of humans became isolated in Arabia for 30,000 years, and they evolved adaptations for colder weather, before expanding further into Eurasia. This is called the Arabia standstill hypothesis. These anatomically modern humans interbred with their close relatives, the Neanderthals and Denisovans, as they dispersed out of Arabia. Modern humans in Southeast Asia's islands, and New Guinea have also inherited DNA from these prehistoric hominins. Only the fragments of bone they left in the Denisova cave in Siberia, and the genetic legacy they left to living people in Asia provide information about the elusive Denisovans, the extinct cousins of Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. According to scientists, the late Denisovan population may have persisted in the isolated mountains of New Guinea or on the Indonesian islands and interbred with modern humans. Thus, scientists have effectively discovered not one, but two previously unknown subspecies of humans. Humans have been fishing for at least a million years and some of the oldest evidence of deep sea fishing in the world comes from this region. Now with the video game Fishing Clash you can travel all around the world and fish in exotic locations. Finally you can fish for prehistoric species you've been dreaming about in Fishing Clash's Lost Worlds location. This unique feature allows you to catch prehistoric fish including the legendary Basilosaurus, Ichthyosaur, Megalodon and many extinct ancient species that you've never even heard of. Indeed, Fishing Clash has one of the most realistic graphics ever seen in mobile games. Now you can explore amazing fishing spots from your phone or tablet and fish from a shore or a boat in rivers, lakes, the sea or the open ocean. Download the game by using my link in the description box or scan the QR code you see on the screen and use my special gift code to get a $20 value reward for free, including a unique avatar, one mythical lore card, 50 luck power-ups and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. It's time to get excited about fishing again with Fishing Clash and finally catch all those prehistoric fish you have been dreaming of. Another startling implication of the study is that, much later than previously thought, one of those groups may have survived and come into contact with modern humans as recently as 15,000 to 30,000 years ago. It's possible that in Southeast Asia, a late surviving lineage of Denisovans interbred with Homo sapiens. According to the new DNA analysis of 161 modern human genomes from islands in Southeast Asia and New Guinea, the elusive Denisovan species of early hominins had a much more complex family tree than previously thought. The human relatives known as Denisovans, according to a group of international researchers who published their findings in the journal, Cell, consisted of at least three different populations, one of which was so distinctive that it may have even been a separate species. One of these lineages was closely related to the Siberia Denisovans or Denisova hominins, whose broken bones were found in the Altai Mountains in Siberia and contained DNA found in contemporary East Asians. The second lineage, which carried DNA found in South Asians and people from Papua New Guinea, had less genetic affinity with the Denisovan specimens that had been studied by science. Therefore, the most recent research expands the Denisovan lineage, by showing that a previously undiscovered population coexisted with the non-Altai group. These groups, known as D1 and D2, separated from the Altai Denisovans, or D0, about 283,000 years ago and from one another about 363,000 years ago. 
According to the researchers, the genetic legacy of the D1 population is primarily restricted to Papuans, whereas the genetic legacy of the D2 population has a wider geographic distribution spanning much of Asia and Oceania. Importantly, the D2 group differs from the individual discovered in the Denisova cave about as much as it differs from Neanderthals. This new group probably needs a new name as well, since we call Neanderthals and Denisovans by distinctive names. As stated, the study suggests that two distinct Denisovan lineages, which had been separated from one another for hundreds of thousands of years, are part of the ancestry of the Papuans, and one of those Denisovan lineages is so distinct from the other that they could be regarded as a brand new subgroup of prehistoric humans. The evidence suggests that modern humans interbred with various Denisovan populations, which were geographically isolated from one another over long periods of evolutionary time. This is in line with earlier research, which has revealed a third Denisovan lineage in the genomes of modern Siberians, Native Americans, and East Asians. Because DNA recovered from ancient bones survives best in the Cold North, studies of archaic hominins have tended to favor Europe and northern Eurasia. Scientists believe that people haven't really realized how much of a bias this has on scientific interpretations, such as this study regarding the geographic distribution of populations of archaic hominins. One of the two Denisovan groups unexpectedly exhibits more mixing with Papuans in the new evidence, which raises the possibility that this group actually inhabited New Guinea or its neighboring islands. Denisovans are also one of the last known populations of ancient hominins, having lived in the region as recently as 30,000 years ago. Island Southeast Asia and New Guinea were already known to be unique regions, with residents there possessing the highest proportion of ancient human DNA on the planet. The area was also acknowledged as being crucial to Homo sapiens' early evolution outside of Africa, but the narrative lacked some details. The new analyses uncovered extensive DNA stretches that did not agree with even one instance of Denisovan genes being introduced into local humans. Instead, geneticists claim that modern Papuans have hundreds of gene variants from two Denisovan lineages that are very different from one another. Scientists calculate that the two Denisovan groups were separated from one another for a period of 350,000 years. Other researchers, however, contend that rather than modern humans and Denisovans, the hints of a late mating may represent a meeting of previously isolated modern human populations. In this scenario, modern humans interbred with Denisovans, leading to the divergence of modern populations, each branch of which retained a unique set of Denisovan genes. The two sets of Denisovan DNA were then once more mixed together when the moderns reconnected. Researchers already knew that 3% to 5% of living people's DNA came from Denisovans, and this inheritance ranged from the Philippines and New Guinea to China and Tibet. According to the prevailing theory, when modern humans first emerged from Africa and interbred with Neanderthals, and all of Europe and Asia now contain between 1% and 3% of Neanderthal DNA. Then, about 50,000 years ago, Asian ancestors came into contact with Denisovans and acquired 3 to 5% of their DNA. As stated, according to the researchers' analysis, Denisovan and contemporary human ancestors interbred as recently as 15,000 years ago. If confirmed, this would make the Denisovans the last relative of modern humans to vanish from the planet rather than Neanderthals. In conclusion, the two additional sources of Denisovan DNA came from populations that were so distantly related that they had diverged more than 283,000 years ago, according to the analysis of the DNA, using three statistical techniques. And after separating from the Siberian Denisovans roughly 363,000 years ago, the D2 population is the furthest away. That puts those two populations at nearly the same genetic distance from one another as they are from Neanderthals. It is believed that the D1 group's DNA entered the modern human genome between 15,000 and 30,000 years ago, based on the fact that it is not present in people outside of New Guinea, and that it is found on sizable chromosomal segments that have not been mixed over time. Whatever occurred in New Guinea, it appears that Denisovans were a dispersed, diverse population that frequently interacted with contemporary humans. It makes you wonder if the ancient world was populated in the same manner as more recent colonization, with fearless males going first and conquering the wilderness, defeating the savages, as they saw them, and then later sending over women and children. Stay tuned for our next episode, as we continue to explore the mysteries of our ancient past. Until then, remember to embrace the uniqueness of our shared human heritage.
Thank you for watching. Remember to download the game using my link or scan the QR code and use my special gift code to get a $20 value reward.